Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter, lovely daughter. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. Yes, Mrs. Brown certainly has a lovely daughter. And I'm about to show three items from Herman's Hermits. Now, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, Matthew Street did a video on Herman's Hermits. And I told him that I would show a few Herman's Hermits items. Now, I believe uh, Matthew did show this one. And this is an original MGM pressing. And I know I did have a couple uh, other uh, Herman's Hermits LPs, but... I really can't find them right now. <laughs> Maybe along the way they got lost. I have no idea, but I don't have, I don't know where they are. <laughs> but anyway, this is their debut LP, and I was a fan of theirs um, when I was very, very young. My aunt Alice used to uh, play them a lot, along with uh, the other British inv invasion bands, the Beatles, obviously, Dave Clark Five. So, you know, as a young kid, uh, I used to hear them in the background. And then as I got older, you know, I purchased some of their records. So there you have it. But they were very enjoyable. I really enjoyed listening to them, you know, since I'm young, you know, since I was, I would say, seven, eight years old. And then I was listening to them through my teenage years and also uh, up into my early 20s. And then I kind of forgot about them. But anyway, I'm going to show you another album I have by them. And this one is called uh, Herman's Hermit's Greatest Hits. Uh, it's got 15 uh, great songs on here and all, all of their hits. Here's the back of it. Here's the uh, selections. It's got a bunch of songs. 15. And then I'll show you the label. on Abco, Abco Records and Tapes, there you go, now I have an interesting Herman's Hermits piece to show, um, and I've had this, I don't know, probably over 15 years, and it is a tour book, I believe this is from 1966, Could be 67, I'm not really sure. But this is a tour book, and it's really cool. Here's the front picture. Uh, the front uh, page of this is ripped away from the rest, so here you go. Here's an advertisement. And hold, here's all the uh, other albums that were available. Herman's Hermits on MGM Records. That's the only page that's torn out of it. The front. Alright, now we're going to go through the rest here. Right inside here, oh, it is from 1967. It says August 12th, 1967. Whoever owned this saw Herman's Hermits at Convention Hall, Asbury Park, New Jersey. There you go. There's the date, August 12th, 1967. Asbury Park. So that's really cool. I'm going to show you page by page what's inside here. Here's a picture of Peter Noon, lead singer, when he was a young man. Here he is on stage. Get my fingers out of the way, sorry. Here he is on stage in white.
Here's Carl. His name is Carl Green, by the way. Here's Barry. Here's the whole band. It's so cool to look through this. I haven't looked through this in a long time. It took me a little while to find it. Here's Keith, Keith Hopwood, another member of Herman's Hermits. There's the band again. Here's more group shots. Here's Peter. He's got the microphone top in his eye. <laughs> That's funny. There's more shots. Gets interesting towards the back. You'll see what I mean soon. Here's an advertisement for the band Blues Magoos. Now, how interesting is that? Anybody remember this psychedelic band from 67, 68? It's really cool that they put this advertisement in here. The Blues Magoos. And then here's the other side picture of the band. And there's Hermits Hermits play Fender musical instruments. Look at that. Look at that, Ed. How cool is that? That'll take you back. That is really nice. Here's another picture of the band. Having a good time. And here, this says, Ask Herman about Mike. This is advertising Sure Equipment. S-H-U-R-E equipment. It's the official microphone of Herman's Hermits on tour. Look at that. How cool is that? Here's the write-up on it. If you want to pause. Now this is really cool. Check out this ad. This ad alone's got to be worth something to somebody. Check this out. The Who on Decca Records. There are two... I can't read backwards. There are two great albums. This is when The Who only had two LPs. The Who Sings My Generation and The Who Happy Jack. Now, How, how cool is that? And it says here, Riding High with their current single, Pictures of Lily, on Decca Records. I'm actually shocked that they would advertise uh, other artists from back in, back in the day uh, on different record labels. Because uh, The Who were on Decca. I believe, um, I want to get it right, I don't want to say it wrong. Blues Magoos 
they were on Mercury Records. So it's kind of odd that um, Herman's Hermits were on MGM back in the 60s, and they're advertising two other record companies. So that's kind of interesting. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And then here's the uh, page that's right next to the Who advertisement. And then the final back page is where you can order Herman's Hermit's official sweatshirt. Check that out. I wonder if I send a self-addressed stamp envelope if I could still get that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? And here you go. Here's a lot of information at the bottom if you want to pause. Special offer. Here's the address. And there's all their stats on each individual member from Herman's Hermits. So how cool is this? From 1967. There we go. Again, here's the front that unfortunately got pulled off. So, you know, it's in, it's in used condition. It's not the most perfect, but... You can still see everything. And that was my special piece of Herman's Herman's memorabilia. All right, I'm going to stop this video now, and hopefully you enjoyed looking at that tour book. The other two records are pretty common, so it's nothing off the, uh, off the wall that's uncommon. But uh, I just wanted to put my two cents in with Herman's Hermits. I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful uh, day. Peace. Thank you.